Right, so this is the alternator from me changing the full focus alternator 1.5 TGCI. So the point of me do, doing what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to see if I can uh, service this alternator. And it looks like the bearings are faulty, time to change bearing, but that bearing feels absolutely perfect. Oh, the two, there'll be two bearings and they feel perfect. Um, <coughs> one for each end of the spindle but I don't know these are I mean I got this spare one for 40 pounds but that's you know they had 30,000 miles on it uh, don't know some of them can't say I've been all that successful in the past but some of them you can uh, change the bearing Right. Um, change the uh, the brushes. That's what usually is is gone wrong with it because this is two hundred thousand miles, and the brushes have gone. It's number eight. All right. So let me get the magnetic tray. Uh, so imagine that I can have a spare one that I know it's fully okay to install in the future if, I, if the other if the other spare part I bought wears out they always wear out with the brushes right 200,000 miles you got you got cop, um, copper brushes or whatever it is I don't, I'm not sure what it is some sort of material in contact with a copper rotor I think it's called a stator You know, that's eventually going to wear out no matter how smooth the, the contact surface is. 200,000 is not bad going. So if you want to know for the 1.5 TDCI, you can see the part number there. That's it. Let's hold it still. It's light. Valio. So this should be the original from Ford dealership. Right, let me get this off. And uh, bet there's a washer in there. So I'm going to get a little magnetic tool to catch the washer. Find threads and come off easily. Otherwise, you know, I'd just be scrapping it, right? Put it in a dump. Right, me... <laughs> Five seconds later. <clears throat> no, I've got that one out. So there's a w couple of washes in there, but even I can't get to them. Oh, yeah. So nice little. Oh, look at that. Oh, no washes. Okay. The washes are embedded. That's fair enough. Right, that was easy. Now, what we got? <clears throat> so, where are the brushes? Good question. Can you figure this out and I'll get back to you? Can't say I understand what's going on. Right, so you got the positive. It says B positive there. Uh, so the the body of the of the alternator is connected to a negative terminal of the uh, car, right? So the positive terminal goes in here. You know that's the that's the 13 mil bolt that comes off. So that sits on there like that. That's it. That's simple, fig, you know, simple to figure out. But what's confusing is this. I remember there was a, a socket I had to pull out. A plug that fits into that, right? You can see it. There it is. See a little bayonet. But look, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't do anything. Not that I can tell. Not that it's so obvious. Maybe this cover is more. You know, it's more to it than 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 it looks. Maybe there's a, maybe that washer there is connected somehow 
to this to this plug maybe there's a piece of metal that goes right through not sure but the other the bolts to the cover and the nuts they are eight mil these are seven and these are bolts not nuts we are feeling the, the brushes is that thing there makes perfect sense if that was a brush so what happens is when I usually as a pin right push the brush in right and um, value remember that push your pin in uh, it cut, when it when it, when you when you get a new one it's got a pin in it and as you when you install it you pull a pin out simple as that so my guess is if it, if it is true if that is the brush then that is a really easy design and I'm gonna get a spare part for that no problem you know you you don't really need me to well I guess I can but I could I could show you this bit first and get the spare part it's becoming obvious what's going on so this is going to go pop in a second maybe even spring out there we go. see the copper see your copper stator so it runs on that right but And there's two of them. My guess is that that's just not touching anymore. I just need a new one of them. Well, I think I'm just going to get a spare part for this. Valio, it says a P6. Hmm, not P. F. F. Or it could be P. 604. F or P, one or two. Let me really read it. And here, it's got even one of those um, QR scan things. I think. But I've got a long number. I'll read it out. Top one is two six two one zero five five eight zero zero. Sorry, eight zero five zero two five. Read it out again. Two six. Two one zero five five eight zero five zero two six. Bottom numbers A zero one seven four three one A one two zero zero A. And there's that one. I'm trying to work out how this works. Electricity goes to there, but look. Where's it go? Where's that go? Is that what's broken? That sat on there. Where's it go? Where's the electricity go? It comes in here, fair enough. That's the positive, so this must be a negative. It's just a cover. Something like that. The only thing I can think of. Nope. I can't really think of that. I'm not sure how this works. It doesn't like it goes anywhere. That's the thing. Oh, silly me. It's two terminals. One's positive, one's negative. And they both run through the both. They both run through the um, uh, the brushes. One brush is positive, one brush is negative. 
And the rear one, look, the rear one's well shot. That's what it is. Okay. All right, that makes sense now. All right. Get a spare part. So, do the same with your um, alternator when you remove it. See if you can get a spare part from I'm pretty sure uh, once a spare part goes in, it's as good as newest. Right, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll just leave, probably leave a comment in the uh, description let you know if I've got a spare part or not. But anyway, try that. Right, so there it is. That's the uh, one on eBay. Uh, new original value alternator regulator 599212. FG18S045, FG18S066, £35. Uh, that's definitely it. Looks exactly like it. It's probably a very common, um, common model, common spare part. Uh, but the thing is, interesting, look. Look at the length of the the little brush see that see the two little brushes look at the length of them they stick out and look at mine if you can see, well i did show you earlier they they barely poke out of there they, but they're basically up there on mine so i've lost all of that and that's all worn away in 200,000 miles of usage so i'm not going to buy it uh, mainly because i know now especially with this video i know exactly what i need to get uh when if the one I'm using now fails, I will purchase it then and then because it is £35. What's the point in having, you know, I might never use it. You know, it would be fun to put it in, but, you know, but it would just sit there and may never be used. But anyway, that is it. That's the video. That's the total video. If you want to you refresh your your alternator usually it's the brushes just get a new set just this is a voltage regulator as well voltage oh it says it's alternator voltage regulator the voltage regulator with brushes sometimes they it's just the brush alone uh it doesn't come with the voltage regulator but this one is brand new and it's 35 pounds anyway that's it really thanks for watching oh and one last thing one last thing i forgot Remember I said there would be a pin or something, some of them, you pull the pin out and then you release the, the two sprung um, brushes. But in this case, it's not, it's got that cap there. See that cap? That cap, I haven't been able to do it by hand yet, but you should be able to force that backwards, downwards in this case, force it backwards and then just just move the brushes into place because you you know imagine they were the cap was there you never would be able to push it in it would snap them so uh afterwards after you've moved maneuvered them in position then put the cap on easy as that really very simple one very last thing right you take this cap off what a pain it really does push on there but you it's got lugs that go across so if you was to try and shove it off, it will catch on these and, and you basically can't do it. I don't know how they did it originally. So I had to use a, a, um, a small screwdriver, break off the cross members that came across um, here and here. That one was easy, that one was a little bit thicker. Break them off and then using a, a uh, pair of pliers pushed it off All right so keep keep that break it off and keep that and once you reinstall this onto your um, once you reinstall the brushes onto your alternator the rest of your alternator you can just then put the cap on and it will just slip on I can't do it with one hand but you see what you see what I'm getting at it's got grooves and that was you know stop any dirt getting in that'll be it but there we go if I was to do that now let's see it and plastic lugs going across there to break off. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to. I'm just, I'm just going to. Uh, well, there it is. It's almost there. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.